Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be talking skincare with a product that I had mentioned doing a video for bef before, but it was in a poll between this and an update on my perm, and the perm video won out, so that's why it was uploaded first on my channel. Um, but today we're going to be talking all about the Hate Somerville, 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 I don't know, how do you pronounce it? Uh, acne treatment. Um, I've been using this for about six months now, and so I think I'm very qualified to give it a full review for you guys and determine whether this is worth it or not. So this item retails for $26 on both the Kate Somerville and the Sephora websites. Um, you get one fluid ounce in it, and it is for the treatment of acne, obviously. Um, but straight off the Kate Somerville website, it says it is formulated to effectively clear blemishes, reduce the appearance of redness, and prevent future breakouts. Uh, this acne spot treatment contains the highest level of sulfur allowed in order to reduce acne and keep skin clear of new breakouts. Um, and it's most effective when applied to areas as soon as a blemish or pimple is noticed. So, as it said, it has the highest amount of sulfur, which apparently is 10%, because that's what is listed as the active ingredient in here. Uh, for the treatment of acne, helps keep skin clear of new acne blemishes. So this is a spot treatment for when you do have them, but it's also supposed to prevent new breakouts in the future. And the directions on it are fairly elusive. Uh, which I found hard to deal with because I like being told exactly what to do when it comes to my skincare just to make sure I don't mess it up. But we need to clean the skin thoroughly before applying, cover entire affected area with a thin layer one to three times daily. Um, but because of excess drying, it says to start out with one and then work your way up if you feel like it's necessary. But it does not tell us how long to leave it on for. Or anything past just put it on your face whenever you need it uh, so I did not like that about it the way I always applied it is it comes in this bottle mine's kind of nasty looking because I've been using it for six months now it comes in this bottle and the top half is actually clear and in the bottom there is like this pink settlement which I'm assuming is some of the sulfur in the bottom and so you take a cotton squab or q-tip and you dip it in all the way down to the bottom and then you bring it back out and it's supposed to be the combination of the liquid and the settlement at the bottom that treats the acne so you couldn't just use the liquid or just the settlement you need them both combined but on the lid it clearly says do not shake so that's kind of odd uh, but what I would always do is dot it around wherever I needed to and I would leave this on overnight because this is not something you want to apply in the morning whenever you're getting ready to go somewhere because these little pink dots that are left on your face don't want to go anywhere it's really really hard to wash off especially when you're putting it over a blemish that's maybe scabbed and it's stuck to that scab and you don't want to wash it harder to get that pink off of it um, and risk irritating that spot. So that was fairly annoying. The worst thing though about actually using this product is if you do use it overnight, then you're gonna have to wash your pillowcase constantly because the active ingredient sulfur smells terrible. Most people compare it to the same smell as rotten eggs. So one, you're putting that on your face and then you're sleeping on it, and you're waking up, and then you're going back to sleep on it. And that smell is going to stay there. And sometimes it'll even stay on your face. Like, you'll be in the middle of the day, and you'll just catch a whiff of it, and it's, it's, not, it's not a cute smell. It's not, it's not a pleasant smell. Um, but that's how it works as far as what the product is, and how you apply it, and how I've been using it. The results, like I said, I've been using this almost daily for six months now, 
Um, my bottle is about half empty, be just because I'm very sparing when it comes to skincare and makeup. I tend to use things in a longer period of time than most people do. Um, but with this, after six months, I would have expected to see better results, honestly, because I still have blemishes. And if you've seen my ColourPop foundation review, you'll see that I have a lot of them all over the place still. This will work sometimes, in my experience. Like, on the pimples that I would have come up, like, right next to the skin, if I would catch them as soon as I seen them and put it on there, it was fine. But the ones that kind of get under your skin and come up almost as a boil, it never helped those. No matter how much I kept applying it and applying it and applying it, it did not reduce the amount of time that it would usually take for it just to build up and then move on. And obviously, it has not reduced the amount of breakouts that I have now. I see no difference. And it doesn't help with blackheads. And that's what I struggle with mainly on my nose and my chin. Um, for $26, it's an okay product. It's not the most expensive thing out there. But it's also, honestly, instead of purchasing, purchasing this again, I would probably rather go to, like, the dollar store and get a pack of the face swabs, cotton swabs, that you just run over your face that have the salicylic acid in them. Because that honestly seems like a better treatment, in my experience with those, than with the sulfur. I don't... I don't know. Like, this is a really hard review to do. I want to recommend it, just because, yeah, it works sometimes. <laughs> but if this is going to be your go-to acne treatment every day, day in, day out, three times daily, as the maximum suggests, if your skin can handle that, my skin can't. Even applying it once a daily dries it out terribly. And if you know me, I have usually the most oily skin ever. So for a product like this, to be able to dry my skin out is saying a lot. So it is a very, very harsh treatment. So if you think your skin can take that, and if you only deal with like a few white heads that pop up right next to the skin, this will be perfect for you. But if you have the more like cystic, boil, acne, and blackheads like I do, it'll work maybe a quarter of the time. So really it just depends on what kind of skin you have. Another bad thing is because this is such a small bottle and you have to use such a small applicator, this is only good for your face. So if you have acne on your chest, your shoulders, or your back, it's going to be harder to reach. It's going to be harder to access those areas to treat them with something like this. So again, I would prefer to reach for something like the cotton pad swabs or a cleansing wash. Will I continue to use this? Yes, until the bottle's gone, just because it was $26, and like I said, it works like 25% of the time. Will I purchase again? No. Am I saying for you to go purchase? No. Am I telling you not to purchase? No. I'm just saying, do your own research. Figure out what your skin needs. And if this is something, a harsh drying treatment, if this is something that you think your skin needs, go ahead. But my skin does not need Kate Somerville. See you guys.